Shalom Uvracha. I hope everybody had a beautiful Shabbos Be'ezus Hashem. So we continue our journey with the help of Hashem through Sefer HaKshar Savrechim. And we're learning over here about his Sragshus and his Slavos like we've had in the previous videos. And in a certain sense, you know, the question becomes, okay, so if this is the main focus, how do we do it? How do we actively try to awaken within ourselves in the moment of Avodah Hashem, a feeling of Hisragshus like we discussed previously, and certainly we want to try to get to a Slavus, a total ecstasy. What are the steps to take? And counterintuitively, the Piyasat Rebbe tells us that really in a ideal circumstance, we don't even have these thoughts in our minds. Meaning to say, we come into the avoda with simplicity. With simplicity. Obviously conscious, that we're not just doing this going through the motions or by rote, or, or because we feel pressured into it in one way or another. We're doing it because we, we want to do it and we're in for real. But at the same time, we're not trying to force anything. So what should our thoughts be? Very simple. We're just going to read one paragraph where the tzaddik, the ish kodesh, the piyas tzareba, teaches us, what a person should think when they walk into davening. What a person should think before they light the Hanukkah candles, before they light Shabbos candles, or as Shabbos comes in, or a Yantiv, or, or we're coming up to Purim now. What should our machshavos be? So he says very simply, a person should think, a person should think, Ever Hashem Ani. I intend to be a vessel for the Spirit of God. I intend to serve Hashem, to serve as a kli, as a receptacle for His Spirit. And the Torah that I learn and the prayers that I say and the mitzvahs that I do to serve Hashem, they are not simply human activities that in one way or another align with the will of the divine or enable us to become more conscious of Hashem's presence and connect us to Hashem. More than that, they themselves are godly in a sense, having been rooted in the, in the mind of Hashem. Hashem designed this idea of tefillin. That means that when we hold tefillin, when we put tefillin on our arm, on our head, this is, this is godliness concretized in our physical realm. And the same goes for any aspect of Judaism, the mitzvahs that apply to men, the mitzvahs that apply to women. All of it is divinity in and of itself that we're engaging with. And I'm not simply connecting to the intellect of the Torah and to the, to the to, you know, to the cognitive processes of understanding the information of the Torah. You know, just because, again, you know, it's, it's divine wisdom and it's the teachings of the Torah and of Hashem. But literally the physical experience of prayer the words that we say and the saying of those words, the mitzvahs that we do and the doing of those mitzvahs, all of the letters that we say, all of the Torah that we're learning, shame us. They're all divine revelations, all divine names. Sphiros, Malachi Kodesh. They're all spiritual energies, angelic beings. Mikdusha Elohim. They are the emanative expression in this world of the loftiest forms of spiritual energy. And so when I say these words, irrespective, again, of consciously trying to work up emotion, even though we're going to get to that, there are ways of doing that as well. But in the ideal sense, just from having these thoughts alone, this consciousness, this level of awareness alone, when I am saying the words of Torah or Tfila or doing a mitzvah, Hashem 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 and all of his myriads of, of, of holy angels are, are, so to speak, they're passing through me. And upon me, they are passing to enable me to connect and to bind myself and to envelop myself and feel myself, understand myself enveloped in this incredibly lofty experience of spiritual uh, um, spirituality and spiritual energy. Says the tzaddik, when a person will have this in mind and a person recognizes this, comes to appreciate the Torah and mitzvahs for what they actually are, experiences of divinity, not just experiences of channels that may in some way or another connect us to the divine, but the divine itself, so to speak. 
and with a, with simple faith and with a strong awareness, as this should be enough to turn on the car, so to speak, of our spiritual experience. This should be enough to ensure that when we are engaged in prayer, engaged in Torah study, engaged in mitzvah observance, kindness, or whatever it is, Torah vodag milas chasadim, that connect us to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Each person has their own path, and there are so many different ways of getting into this experience. This should be enough to bring that to life. This should be enough to begin to help us to feel some emotion, some feeling of love toward HaKadosh Baruch Hu, who we are actively engaging with, some awe, the recognition, Yira is not, not fear, I'm afraid of Hashem. I'm, I'm aware, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by the awe, the wonder, the amazement of what it is that I have the privilege of being connected to. The words that I have the privilege of saying. What a privilege. Coming down to the world, uh, we should all live long and happy till 120, just for one moment of being able to be connected to divinity in this way. Better is one hour of Torah and good deeds in this world. It's so much beyond whatever I'm going to be able to experience in the spiritual realms, it's intimacy in the deepest of ways to reveal God in the depths. That's the ultimate purpose of reality. When a person goes into Torah and tefillah and mitzvah observance with these thoughts, it's so difficult not to be awakened, so difficult not to feel an emotional connection with what we're engaging with. So Hashem should bless us to feel this way, to keep this in mind. We're coming to Shachras, Mincha, Marv, whatever it is, and in so doing, to turn on our, our feelings of love and of awe and of connectivity to the Master of Heaven and Earth, our loving Father in Heaven. Wishing everybody the most beautiful, amazing week up ahead. Thank you so much again for being a part of it. All the best.